Today's video from Sam 4S Help. We're taking a look at the receipt header message programming on the ER900 series of registers. So on the machine, you can have um, we well can have lots of lines of receipt header message. You can then also have a footer message as well. It's a fairly straightforward program in terms of finding it in the manual. But what I'm going to do is show you how to how the character entry works. So I'm going to use bold characters for my top line. I'm going to put a website in so I need to know where the full stop is and I'm also going to show you how to put numbers in so um, I could go and program 12 lines but then the, the video would be too long so I'm just going to stick with three just to give you the theory of how it works and then you should be okay from there. Um, so there's three things you'll need in addition to the register. You'll need the P key so with the machine you should have a bunch of metal keys. One of them will be marked P which enables you to go to the program mode You'll need the alpha underlay, um, so this should be under the keyboard that you've had done. There should be a, an alpha keyboard showing you how to pop the letters in. And then also, I mean, this isn't compulsory, but I like to plan out um, my receipt headers. So on this machine, the 900s, you can have up to 32 characters. Uh, but it doesn't centre it as standard unless you're programming it through the software. If you're programming it old school like I am through the till manually, then you need to plan out your spacing in order to get it centred. So on this sheet here, this grid, I've got 32 characters. And then for my SAM 4S help, I want that in bold, which takes up two spaces. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So that means nine times two, I'm using 18 characters. So to get that centered over 32 characters, um, I need to pop in seven spaces. I've done the same with the website. I'm using that in lowercase, so it doesn't take up the space, the same amount of space, but I'm, I've worked out how many spaces I need to pop in. And then again with a phone number. You don't have to do that. If you want it left justified, then just program it and just stick it in. It, it, it's entirely up to yourself, but that's what I like to do. Okay, so. At the start of the programming, the first thing to do is to turn the program key or the P key round to the program mode and then you type in 700 and then press subtotal. That tells the till that you're going into receipt programming mode. You then need to enter the line number, so I'm going to start with line 1, press 1 and then the quantity time or X time button and it says logo number 1 line. So whatever we type in now is what's going to appear on our first line of our receipt header. So this is then where the alpha overlay comes in. So if I refer back to my uh, character chart or my grid, I've got seven spaces at the start in order to get my SAM 4S help centered. So there's plenty of space buttons. So I've popped in my seven spaces and then to have double sized characters, You've got a bold button here. You have to press that before each one. So bold S, bold A, bold M, bold the, the numbers. You just use the numbers here. Okay, once you've typed in, you don't need to put the additional spaces at the end, obviously, but once you've typed in the characters for that line and you're happy with it, you press subtotal to save. And you can actually, you get a little printout um, showing the top line. So if you're happy with that, you can carry on. I am. So once you press subtotal, it then goes back to the main menu for the 700 subtotal. You don't have to enter 700 subtotal again, you can go to the next line, so line 2 by pressing 2 and then the quantity time. So now we can pop in our line 2, so we need the alpha overlay back on and then we need to double check what we've got on here and this is the website, I've got six spaces on this line I can't remember whether it defaults to caps or not, I think it does, so um, this will be interesting. I'll press cap now and then we'll see what happens. So we've got on there, there we go. So it shows you the, the letters going in, of course, so I know I'm in lowercase. So there's the www dot, or there's the www, the dot is there. OK, 
okay so you've entered that once you're happy with it again it's subtotal to save there's our second line done so you feed this forward slightly there's the feed okay so you can see I've made a mistake there I pressed caps I shouldn't have pressed caps so I've got line two is actually wrong I've got on a SAM 4S help and then the, the website's incorrect so I need to go in and edit that so to do that I've already pressed subtotal so I press two and then X time and then I need to enter my spaces again one two three four five six spaces and then I should just be able to press the W you turn to the whole thing again Okay, there we go, so there it is incorrectly. I don't know how I didn't spot that first W wrong, but you see how easy it is to go back in and change it. You just don't pan it, go back into the line and then pop it incorrectly. Um, again, once you're happy with what you've put on there and you want to save it, you press subtotal. So we can actually check that again if we feed the receipt out a bit. There's the website incorrectly. Okay, so now we want to program line three, which is I'm gonna use as a phone number just to show you how that could be entered so it's line number three then quantity X time and we're now in the programming for line three so again if I refer back to my grid I've got eight spaces at the start to get it centered and then I want capital T E L Okay, so I've made a mistake there. So you've got a backspace button here. So if you if you make a mistake and spot it, it's easy to just get rid of it. Pop in the space, and then your numbers are over here. Again, subtotal to save. And then obviously I could go in and program lines four, five, six, and then the footer message as well. But I'm going to save what I've got because I'm just happy with a free line receipt header by pressing cash. Turn the key back around to the reg mode. I pop for a sale and then print out a receipt for it. I've got my program receipt header message in there. So I've got Sam for s help, the website and then the phone number. Okay, I hope that video has been helpful. We've got plenty of other videos, some of which will be appearing on screen now, showing you how to get the best out of your ER900 cash register. So you're welcome to watch those. You can subscribe to this YouTube channel or visit samforesthelp.co.uk for more. Thanks for watching.